Do something. I am doing something. I'm doing stuff, Lori. Thanks. I'm keeping this group together, alive. I can sacrifice one of us for the greater good because, because we are the greater good. All this, all this is just what was. We can all live together. There's enough room for all of us. Things don't get better because you want them to. Luck runs out. Everyone who's made it this far, we've all done the worst kinds of things just to stay alive. But those who use and take and kill to carve out the world and make it theirs alone, we end them. We choose to go. We choose to stay. We found each other. That bigger world is ours. Now you put down your weapons, walk through those gates. You're one of us. And any person here who would live in peace and fairness, who would find common ground, this world is yours. By right, we're the reason we're still here, not me. This is life and death. How you live, how you die. We are life, that's death. And it's coming for us, unless we stand together. This is how we survive. We tell ourselves, We are the walking dead. I was thinking, how many of you do I have to kill to save your lives? I've been doing that all along, no matter what. I didn't ask for this. There's only one person who has to die. And I will kill him myself. I will. I will. I killed my best friend for you people, for Christ's sake. You, you just sit and plan and hesitate. Pretend like you know, but when you don't, you're gonna change. This isn't a democracy anymore. I'm not your governor. I'm not the good guy anymore. I'm not sorry for what I said last night. I'm sorry for not saying it sooner. You wanna kick me out? Maybe you people are better off without me. Go ahead. I say there's a place for us, but maybe maybe it's just another pipe dream. Maybe, maybe I'm fooling myself again. Well, wh why, don't you, why don't you go and find out yourself? Send me a postcard. If you don't fight, you die. I'm not going to stand by. <laughs> Thinking about my friends. Glenn saved me. Right at the start. I couldn't save him. It's normal. I know that. Being stuck on it. We went through something. This, this doesn't cure it. What happens next? And we're 
we're gonna lose people. Maybe a lot of them, maybe even each other. Even then, it'd be worth it. When I thought that... I can't lose you. You asked me what kind of life we had just surrendering. It wasn't, it wasn't the life. What we did back there, what we're doing now, making a future for Judith, for Glenn and Maggie's baby, fighting the fight. That's living, you showed me that. You can lose me. No. Yes, you can. I can lose you. We can lose our friends, people we love. It's not about us anymore. It's about a future. And if it's me who doesn't make it, you're gonna have to lead the others forward. Because you're the one who can. How do you know? Because you led me here. Most importantly, Gabriel, we have each other. People are a resource. We make it inside, we live. We can take a chance. We can gut up, play dead ones across the courtyard. Or, or I can just kill you, but that is not what I want. What I want is for you to work with me. That is all I ever want. I've killed before, but that's not my gravest sin. No. I locked my congregation out of my church when this all just started. I listened to them die. As I cowered, I failed them. I failed God. And every day, I work to lessen that failure, to be of service and purpose. Now I offer you the assurance of a pardon, penance, and absolution. I will go with you. I will show you that working together as equals is the only true way to grace, to a future. I will do this if you confess. Jesus, Gabe, what you did, that is some horrible, cowardly, spineless shit. I guess that's what a confession's supposed to be, right? My first wife was a real wife. My only real wife. Till death did us part. It was before this. I lied to her. I screwed around on her. She was sick. And when she went, when she went, it was during this. I couldn't put her down. That is how I was weak. That is what I will confess. Because, yeah, 
Maybe we do bite the big one here. You're forgiven. Thanks. You can keep your gun. you out there I, no, no, for getting me here for, for making it so I can be who, who I wound up Back at the prison, when we got attacked. There was a kid, a little older than me. He had a gun. He was, he was starting to put it down. And I, I, sh I shot him. He was, he was giving it up, and I, I just shot him. I think about him, what I did to him, and how, how easy it was to just kill him. Carl? No. What happened? What you lost? All those things you had to. All those things you had to do. You 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 were just a. You were just a boy. And you saw it. But it did. How. How easy it got. You brought those people from Liberian. You brought them in and we all lived together. We were enemies. You put away your gun. You did it. So I could change. So I could be who I am now. What you did then, how you, how you stopped fighting, it was right. It still is. It can be like that again. You can still be like that again. <laughs> <laughs> 